Hey, God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Listen, y'all, I'm going to teach you and show you something that you can utilize every day of your life to combat sickness, infirmity, the enemy, and it's this. Now watch this. A lot of people in the church, they're sick. your sickness speaks to you. Your deficiency speaks to you. Your lack speaks to you. The enemy is speaking to you. But the question is, which voice is going to triumph and which voice will you be attentive to and which voice overrides everything that's trying to gain your attention and your focus to get you out of faith. See, the, see what Christians need to understand is this. You tell that sickness, no, 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 you will not. You tell that disease, no, sickness does not live in this body. Disease does not live in this body. Oppression does, is not my portion. Oppression does not live in this body. The enemy has no right to this body. Whatever it is that has a name, there is one name that is above every name that it has to bow to in the name of Jesus. Even me doing this video and talking about this to you right now, there's many of you that are going to create arguments in your carnal mind to talk you out of a miracle, to talk you out of God's blessings. Here's the thing. What do you have to lose? In trusting God, what do you have to lose? In standing, fighting the good fight of faith, what do you have to lose? So you're going to listen to that preacher, that doubting Thomas, to talk you out of a miracle that Jesus paid for, paid for at the whipping post for you. And that preacher knows the mind of God and knows everything and has convinced you and persuaded you and talked you out of faith so that it makes sense to the carnal human reasoning who is really robbing people of God's miracles and healing it's not Jesus it's it's the serpent seed of these so-called ministers, so-called teachers that will talk you out of having faith in God. That will talk you out of believing Jesus, that he is who he says he is. See, the Jesus that they serve is an intellectual letter that kills Jesus, not the spirit that gives life, Jesus, that we who are born again from above, abide in, trust in, rely on, adhere to, and walk out the realities of the kingdom by the spirit of truth of what truth speaks and says concerning you. Either you will listen and obey the command of the written word by the spirit or you're going to let these preachers upon the land who have no miracles, who have no signs, who have no wonders following the teaching and the preaching of what it is they say they believe in. So the question once again, who is actually robbing you of God's miracle working power coming nigh unto you? If Jesus was here right now in front of you, would he put up with your sickness? Would he put up with that disease? Now I'm talking for us all, y'all. We know that the enemy afflicts people. We know that the enemy tries to put things upon people. Sickness is of the devil, period, y'all. 
It came at the fall. There was no sickness before the fall. So therefore it came when deception creeped in to the ear of Eve that made her partake of, that seduced her into, and got her husband to eat of the forbidden tree that God commanded Adam not to eat from. But the question arises, therefore then, what tree are you partaking from that is robbing you from God's best? Why not trust God? Why not go all the way leaning upon the word? Not what that teacher who sees no miracles, not what that preacher who sees no miracles. We are to have fruit, not just fruit of, but also fruit of the gifts that are in the Holy Ghost that we have that should be manifesting as sons of God on the earth, modeling the Christ we belong to. Jesus went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Sickness, disease, spirit of infirmity, devils cast out, the dead raise, the blind see, the lame walk, the dumb speak. In the name of Jesus, y'all, it's time that we start standing upon the word of God and let the word by the spirit of what is written be confirmed by the truth you say you believe that you abide in become the reality by the mindset of Christ that is transforming and renewing your reality to believe as he. For as he is, so are we in this world. So the question I raise once again, who really upon the land has lied to you that is robbing you from God's best, from God's miracle working power coming nigh in and upon and over your life? You can believe that preacher and those teachers and those naysayers and those doubters all day, every day, if you want to. The choice is yours. The, it's your life. You can do what you want to do with it. But if you're going to serve Jesus and trust him at his word, go all in. No matter what anyone, myself or anybody says to you, trust the Christ. Trust the truth. Because the truth that you become acquainted, that you know, that you yada, will set you free. What if the revelation within you that becomes unveiled for you, that you now begin to see brings about the healing that is available for you that was paid for at Calvary. By his wounds, we were healed. I love you all. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Don't let those preachers talk you out of God's miracle working power. Don't let those preachers talk you out of receiving from Christ. Here's the thing. Shut them down. Listen to faith. Read the promises of God's word. Declare them over your life. Re rehearse them and declare them and speak them over your body. You speak to that sickness. You speak to that, that disease. You speak to that, that dysfunction. You speak to that situation. And you tell that thing, you will not be leading me no more. You will obey the word of the Lord and body. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You will align with the word of truth. You will obey the Christ. And the only thing that is going to be manifesting is the nature of him in me, him in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory waiting to be seen from your life. Be blessed in Jesus name.